Hello, so today I'm going to be trying out new makeup products. And these are products that I have never tried before on camera and I am going to get started. All right, so the first item, and this is something that I think when it came out, everyone was talking about it. I don't know if it came out this year or last year, but it didn't come out very long ago. And this is the Becca Zero No Pigment Virtual Foundation. Now, it is supposed to be like a clear sort of silicone gel sort of thing. And it's supposed to be a foundation that's supposed to blur out imperfections. It says in the back, zero to hide, see nothing but you without any pigment to hide your skin. Clear light blur technology diffuses light to smooth and blur imperfections. Hyaluronic acid instantly hydrates the skin. Complexion balancing formula, cool skin on contact with a natural matte finish. So I was very skeptical of this product and it, I think most people were. Everyone was like, mm hmm. As soon as this came out, it just reminded me of the Emperor's new clothes. And yeah, that's, that's what it reminded me of. I was like, it's a gimmick. It has to be a gimmick. Anyways, I tried it on um, as you're seeing in the video and I didn't see much of a difference. Uh, definitely not a foundation, maybe like a primer. And that's what I'm using it as right now as a primer just to see if it helps out like with blurry imperfections. I don't know why they marketed this as a foundation because to me it's more like a primer. So who knows? But um, as you saw in the video, like it really didn't make much of a difference. Maybe a tiny, tiny difference. Who knows? I do think though it worked great as a primer and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it after I talk to you about the next product. All right, so the next product is this right here, which is the Pure Press Mineral Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 15 4 in 1. So this is supposed to be a pressed mineral foundation, and this is in the shade Light, LN6. All right, so when I first tried this foundation, I feel like it was a little bit too light for my skin tone. The other thing is that I feel like it looked very cakey and now that I am trying it out and that's why I said that um, and that's why I said I was going to talk a little bit more about <laughs> this other thing right here um, it's because I feel like with this it actually works and doesn't look cakey whatsoever like I don't need as much of this as when um, I wasn't wearing this on underneath the few times that I've tried it it just feels like I need to do like two or three layers in order for it to look like it's actually doing the job of a foundation. It's not full coverage. It's kind of like a light to medium coverage depending on how you use it. Uh, as you saw, I used it with this brush right here and this is a foundation brush. Yeah, that's what it is, a foundation brush. So that's what I used it with. That was my belly making sound. But I'm hungry. <laughs> really early in the morning so yes um, I used it with that brush right there with the foundation brush I've tried using it with um, those type of sponges that are for powder foundations and I don't feel that that works that just deposits more product onto the skin so I feel like the brush is the way to go I do think that you're supposed to like grab it and kind of like buff it into your skin. I feel like that's the way that it has worked the best for me. So I am glad that I gave it another try just because I feel like with this, it actually, um, it works. <laughs> this is a deluxe sample. I got this as an add-on on Ipsy. Uh, I also think that I got this as an add-on on Ipsy. So the next item I have is this one right here, which is the Morphe Brow Cream in the shade Chocolate Mousse. 
it says blend the rules um yeah so this is supposed to be a brow cream as it says on the name and it comes in a little pot just like this and it looks like that doesn't smell like anything um so since it's an eyebrow cream you're gonna need some type of brush that's like small that could work on your eyebrows i have this one on hand so this is the one i used and this is the elf small smudge brush but it does have like bristles it's not like a sponge it does have bristles i don't know if you can tell if you like a strong brow like i think that this is the way to go um with the pencils i'm not able to get such a strong brow like pencils i feel like they're more for like every day but with this one um yeah it definitely gives you a strong brow and especially for the camera like it works All right, so the next item is actually this right here, and this is a the NYX Pigment Primer. So this right here is supposed to be a primer for pigments. So I don't know if you know this, but ColourPop, for example, they use mostly pigments. They have pressed pigments um, on their eyeshadow palettes. They don't call them eyeshadow palettes because they're not allowed to, and that's why it's called a pressed powder palette. Um, they're not supposed to say eyeshadows if it's pigments that are not supposed to be on the eyes because it's against some rule. I think, is it the FDA? I'm not sure. The Federal Drug Administration. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, they're not supposed to call them eyeshadows because of that. The reason I know this is because I was, what, I was looking at the new Money Heist eyeshadow palette and people were complaining that most of the shadows are not meant to be on the eye so that took me to research and i started researching and i realized that ColourPop <laughs> doesn't make eyeshadow palettes they make they make pressed powder palettes which are supposed to not go on the eye now there's no problem with putting them on the eye uh, unless you're like really sensitive so some people will get irritation from pressed pigments and it, they might stain your lids. They might stain your skin. And that's the reason why um, they're not marketed as eyeshadow palettes because they don't comply with the FDA regulations in that sense. I never had a reaction from any pressed pigments, not even using it with a primer, like even when I don't use them with a primer. But this is supposed to be a pigment primer, and I suppose that's to um, create kind of like a barrier between your skin and the pigment so that it doesn't get stained or it doesn't irritate your skin. The other one that I've heard that has a lot of pressed pigments in it is the James Charles palette. And yeah, I mean, people use it on the eye all the time. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But um, yeah, it's also pressed pigment. All right, so next I have this right here, and this is the Flower Warrior Glitter Shadow, and this is in the shade Camo. So I've always liked these glitter shadows that um, I think they're from, they're not from Tarte. Okay, I don't know where, where they're from, but um, I'll insert the name somewhere down here once I find out. So I've always wanted those and they're really expensive. And so I decided to look for alternatives and I found this one from Flower Beauty. Um, and this I got at Target. So when I was putting this on, I realized that it's very thick. It goes on thick and that's fine if you know how to work with it. I feel like I didn't do a great job working with it. I am not used to this. And so, yeah, I mean, this, this is how it came out. Um, I do feel like when I was trying to spread it with the brush, like the actual glitter was not spreading, but the whatever's under it, like the under formula, whatever it is, that's what was spreading. And it's like a dark, like grayish kind of color. So that's what you see like here. That's what you see like up here because I was trying to spread that around. And I'm really not upset with that. I think that it gives it like a really nice um, smoky look. So 
that's fine. But I don't feel like I did the best job at using this. <laughs> I don't know. And I mean, it's on there. It's on there. This thing is not like rubbing off on my finger. Like it's not coming off. It's really on there. <laughs> so the shade is like a camel green that has a little bit of gold sparkle to it. Really cute. All right. So the next item I got is actually is this right here and this is the wet and wild 16 hour waterproof cry proof humidity proof smudge proof uh breakup proof retractable gel eyeliner and this is in the shade black so this is just like your regular eyeliner retractable gel eyeliner um, it looks like this and I'm really enjoying this pencil. I think it's kind of like a staple sort of pencil. I got it at CVS for $2.99 and it's a nice little pencil. I mean, what more can I say about it? It's just a great pencil. So it does say that it's waterproof. Um, I'm going to test it out, but yeah, this is what it looks like on the back of my hand okay so next all right so next um next i have a mascara and next i have a mascara this is the woma beauty by sharon c batter boom all natural volumizing mascara with 77 percent natural ingredients and it says right here on the back level up and so this is what it looks like doesn't really smell like anything it looks like this it's a very thick brush and i feel like it, it's thick but it has kind of like a spiral to it a little bit so i've been using this for a for the past month and i am in love with this mascara i feel like it does like make them thicker like more voluminous it adds a little bit of length to them i mean look at that i mean have you seen what my eyelashes look like without mascara you could barely see them and yeah this actually makes my eyelashes unnoticeable so i really really like that all right next i have this right here and this is the pacifica 100% vegan cruelty free glimmer shimmer highlighter and blush duo oh I never noticed there's a mirror in the back okay so they actually have names the blush is called fire lit and the highlighter is called glimmer shimmer I am in love with this little duo I think it's so convenient not only that but I feel like this shade right here it could be built up and yeah it's really nice it's kind of like a mix between a warm and a cool tone it's not peach it's not pink it's somewhere in between so i think it's gonna work for many different undertones then the highlighter um i mean you are seeing the highlighter probably on the video but you also see it on my cheek like it works really nicely um this is what the highlighter looks like. I've been thinking of gifting it, but then I'm like, I, this is great for like when you're traveling to have something that's compact like this and that you don't have to take like two separate products. So maybe I'm not gonna gift. <laughs> the next item that I'm trying on is this right here. And this is a lipstick. So this is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon or Lip Crayon. And this is in the shade Enjoy the View, number 20. This is what it looks like right here. That's the lipstick. And then at the end, if you take out the cap, there's a little sharpener right there so that if you need to sharpen your lip pencil, you could go ahead and do that. Not a lip pencil, but a lip crayon. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Not only does it smell really good, it smells like fruity, um, it actually goes on so nicely. 
as you're seeing in the video. It's not the one I have on right now. I actually have the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout Marshmallow Mousse in the shade Flutter Nutter because it does like this one right here doesn't go with my eye look. <laughs> but this one is super, super cute. To me, it just looks very like healthy. It makes me look healthy. Um, it's kind of like, I think it would be great for like the spring or the summer. And I think it's super cute. I'm taking it on my vacation, by the way. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, I really like it. The formula, it feels nice on the lips. It's not like greasy. It feels a little bit matte. And I actually do really, really enjoy that formula. I'm gonna see if I could get other shades. All right, so the next item that I got is this setting powder right here and this is actually a deluxe sample of it i don't remember what brand this is from i just saw that i got this um i got this as a sample at ulta they probably gave it to me with the purchase of something um but yeah this is such a nice translucent powder i feel like it just gives my skin kind of like a blurred effect now a little goes a long way so you can't like overuse it but i do feel like if you use just the right amount it just gives you that nice glow as you're seeing on my skin it just like if you it just looks like diffused it is so pretty um so yeah i love this so this is the translucent loose setting powder in the shade translucent and yeah i absolutely love that on the video, I'm also using this right here, which is the Hula uh, by Benefit Bronzing Powder. And this came out a long time ago. So it's not anything new, but I feel like a lot of people use it. And I actually got this in my Sephora Play box. And Sephora Play hasn't been around in a while. So you can imagine how like long I've had this. So yeah. Um, as you can see like on my skin like it does give like a little bit of deepness to it and i rarely rarely use bronzing powders i just don't feel the need for them um i don't use it like right here on this area just because i feel like i have a very short forehead and using that is gonna make it look even shorter so i did use it like right here and right here and this area right here I mean, I don't think it's going to do surgery, but at least it's going to make it recede just a little bit. <laughs> um, the reason why I don't use bronzing powder is because I have like a lot of hair right here that's already like dark. And I feel that that hair just gives me like a natural contour. <laughs> um, yeah, as you can see, like there's like a line right here of hair. It makes it look like I am a little bit chiseled right here, which I'm not. I really have like a very round face but uh yeah the hair just gives like this effect and that's the reason why i don't use bronzing powder <laughs> anyways uh the other thing that i did want to show you is this right here and i actually got this on shein they gave it to me um for black friday uh when i purchased something they gave it to me free so this is the it says shein black friday on it it feels like leather and oh my gosh like this is like such good quality this front is so pretty like this is raised and it's just a mirror see it's a mirror anyways i think this is cute to like take around with you but not necessarily for the videos because i feel like it's not big enough that's it right oh i did want to share with you my crown and I got this on Shein as well. I think it's like super cute. Anyways, I got I got it for a special event and I thought it was fitting just to wear it at the end of the year uh, for this end of the year video. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.